we are going to find dy dx and d2y dx2 for this parametric equation, x is equal to 2 sine t and y is equal to 3 cosine t. So let's begin by doing dy dx first, which we know this is dy dt over dx dt. And for the top, dy dt, we look at the y equation and do the derivative. Derivative of 3 cosine t is negative 3 sine t. And then for the bottom, dx dt, we look at the x equation and do the derivative. Derivative of 2 sine t is 2 cosine t. Okay? And then, of course, sine t over cosine t, we can write that down as tangent. This is negative 3 over 2, tangent t. And this is the first derivative, dy dx, in the sense of the slope of the line tangent to this parametric curve. And now let's move on to d2y dx2. And to do this, remember we have to do the dt of the first derivative, which is dy dx right here and then all over dx dt. So what does this mean? This means that we have to look at the dy dx e uh, expression, which is this one that we got earlier, and do the derivative with respect to t. So let's do that first. So we just have to ask ourselves, what's the derivative of negative 3 half tangent t? Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared, so this is going to give us negative 3 half secant squared t, and that's the top portion. And then we divide it by dx dt, derivative of x with respect to t. Derivative of 2 sine t is 2 cosine t, right? So now you can just put this one, um, these things down nicely. Let me just write it down as negative 3 half secant square t, and then this is, this is the denominator, right? I will just write it as this is 1 half, and then when you have 1 over cosine t, it's like another secant t, right? This is just from the denominator right here. All in all, you see that the numbers can be multiplied, it, negative 3 altogether over 2 times 2, which is 4, secant square times another one, we have secant to the third power t. And this is it. This is d2y dx2.